Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm gonna have a little bit different video today. It's a, a challenge. Had <laughs> two people accept the challenge. It's gonna be a kind of strange too. Here's the deal. We're gonna make fishing lures. Now stay with us. Don't go anywhere yet. It's gonna be fun. You get a hook, which is basically a weighted jig head, some glue, and some thread. And then everything else to make the lure has to be scavenged outside. And the thread can't be a main component. It yeah. can't be a lot of you it. You can't just make a lure out of thread. So we got to find things out, out here in the yard, in the barn, the shed, wherever. We're going to make crappie jigs. And we're going to make one a piece. And then tomorrow, which will be today for you still. Yeah. We're going out in the boat. And we're going to have a, a little fishing derby with our homemade... DIY lures. And we all know who's gonna win. Me. <laughs> no! <laughs> Me. To see who can, are we gonna do the most fish? Or uh, biggest fish? Yeah, cause it'll be like what what um, attracts the most fish. Okay. Okay, so we'll do most fish in the boat. In the boat. Yeah. So uh, other than that, as far as what material is outside, I think it really matters. Uh, it's just they can't come from inside the house, on the back porch, in the garage. Mm -hmm. Nothing in the in the footprint of the house, but anything outside. So, uh, all right, gross. I'm giving everybody a camera, <laughs> and uh, it's, it's time to start hunting materials. All right, I'm on. Go away, please. Hi. What appear everyone had a similar idea, so I might change mine, I'm not sure. Actually, he's going the same place I'm headed, so. I'm being followed, she's cheating. Yeah. Said the shed. I was nice enough to kill the wasps on the door into the shed or the barn floor. I don't know what she's getting out of the barn. But uh, at least she doesn't have to deal with the wasps now. Hey guys, so as you just saw, um, we're having a challenge video. Well, and I usually use bucktail uh, um, for the tail of my crappy jigs whenever I make them, which I have recently gotten into. But we obviously can't do that. So, <whistles> trigger! I'm using our dog's fur. I'm being followed. <laughs> Woo, it's dark in here. Maybe we're not thinking the same thing. I'm checking for feathers because we usually use bucktail when we make our jigs and I was thinking some of these chicken feathers would work. So I'm going to see if I can find any loose ones so I don't have to, you know, be mean and yank a tail out or something. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. You can't see it, it's dark in here. So I think that will work good on our jig, my jig. Oh, I think she's going, she's going for chicken feathers. Man, it's hot in here. I don't even know if there's anything in here I want to use. Actually, I think there is. I gotta prop this open. See, I got this paracord. Use that, but it's really thick. Remember, we're making little tiny crappie jigs. I think I know what I want to use. I just want to look around and see if there's anything else. Uh, Bermuda. That'd be a good one. 
but I think I know what I want. I'm the only one that thought ahead and brought scissors. Should I let them borrow my scissors? I don't know if they're going to need them. Alright, some dog hair for the tail. And some uh, tomahawk line for the body. So, what I'm going to do is, now that I have this, I am going to gather some berries that I like to call chalk berries. Uh-huh, you know where this is going. They are disgusting and chalky and hey, hey, hey! Looky here! Hey, what? Hey, don't lock it up. What if I want to go in there? You don't have keys. You gotta have keys. No, you said the shed. You, you said we could use the shed. Key. You said we could use the shed. Yeah, go get I'm some keys. I'm exposing you. Go get keys. <laughs> I'm already Watch working. Watch out for the wasps. I thought they were gone. They probably are. <sighs> um, so uh, I don't have pockets. Lovely. So, anyways, these are these are choke berries. They're disgusting, but. I got my materials. Oh, really? But if you look at this, that one's pretty dry. But if you look, that perfect stain. See? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna gather some of these up and just make a stain for trigger our dog's fur. Chicken feathers, dog hair. Maybe it'll catch some fish, what do you think? <laughs> I do not like kisses. No, I love you, but no. No kisses, nope, stop. Let's see. He loves kisses, and I am not a fan of the dog kiss. That's gross, bub. No. I have a feather, and I have some dog fur. So let's see what I'm gonna do with that. To gather some grass now. Are you gonna use grass, or you can use maybe the pine needles like we talked about? Pine needles, maybe. There's lots of them right here. That would um, work. You braid them together? Yeah. Can you hold this for me? Thanks. And also, um, pine needles are actually fairly brittle, but if you soak them, um, they actually become very pliable and strong. So that's a really neat trick. All right, so I've got my materials. Angela's got hers. Henley's outside talking to herself. I assume she's talking to the camera. <laughs> she's got all of her materials, but uh, it's, uh, it's time to start tying.
got some cheaters. Cheating. Saw my jig. Not cheating. You never said I couldn't use a spindle. Taking a dog fur. I'm turning it into yarn. So why are you coming to watch a video? Because I haven't done Has it been that long. It's been a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time. She's cheating too. The tree, the train, Look. Innocent woman. Look. She's using choke berries to dye her dog hair. That was never against the rules. It's just a better idea than yours. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see who catches the most fish. Huh. Yes, we will. I need Chanel. I can, so I'm making I can something similar. So yours is going to be feather? Feather and dog hair? Yeah. And I didn't use my feather. You know what though? Huh. I can catch fish on a bare hook. Yeah, by snagging them while they're running away. <laughs>sun's up and we're on the lake one of three are awake got two that all right so we got out here they saw uh, before daylight or right at daylight wanted to take advantage of uh, a little top water bite or try to for bass uh, not a lot of luck so far hoping the crop here is going to be a little better that uh Little tournament out here last night and uh, i'm not sure if it was hammered pretty good but so, letting everybody get tied on with their i've got dog hair and tomahawk trellis uh twine angela's got feather and okay. dog hair <laughs> turned into yarn henley yeah she uh spooled her dog hair up with the spindle made yarn and then henley has pine needle and feather she changed hers a couple times I didn't use the feather on mine um, once I had everything on there I thought it was just enough so we're gonna see if we can't find a little brush pile and see what these jigs will do
All right, you see you got a little bit of standing timber. There's fish on it, there's some fish moving. Just a little farther up, there's also a little small brush pile. So we'll just pull up, try to put everybody on top of something. And uh, I'm gonna win. Oh, really now? I think so. Somebody's confident. Somebody's asleep. You made me get up for too early. Well, this spot was a bust. Could see some fish, but nothing biting. So we're gonna go to where we normally do pretty good. The problem is right out in the middle of the lake. It's a little windy, so it could get a little noisy there on the camera. All right, in a different spot. You see, got some brush underneath us. We're done. I won. <laughs> no. Doesn't count.
Yeah, that's a good one. You need the net? Maybe. That's not what we're after. Whoop. heads in there though.
Zdravím. Mama. The, win, the winning fish. <laughs> Chicken feather and dog hair. <laughs> yeah, it works. Sad that it only took a third fish to win. Yeah, because yours got stuck. I lost mine and she quit. Actually, no. It, I decided. Is it loser kisses the fish? No, it was, it was loser ki kisses dinner. What? Right. Loser makes dinner. I'm going to let this guy go. Okay. We didn't actually make a wager. Yeah, we didn't really make a wager on anything. <laughs> Couldn't come up with anything. I was. It was going to be a uh, winner gets to pick flavor of ice cream, but she's, she's not doing sugar. I had an idea so, for mom. Yeah, well, you quit fishing. You you lost, so you don't get. Oh, you just don't want to rub her feet. You just you don't get a vote at all <laughs> because you quit. You broke off. You quit. At least I fished till I broke off. You quit. Got you it. quit. <laughs> <laughs> two and lost two fairly quickly yeah. i say fairly quickly we didn't do any good at the first spot no here we did all right and then i got hung up and lost it she got hung up almost lost it yeah i was worried but it came and out. then she had a big lull with nothing no bites or anything yeah. and then finally caught two more pretty quick and uh, the one to sell it so yeah. i've caught a bunch of fish on a different jig yeah i, I think it's taking so long because it's dark usually yeah. they like the really bright colors but... so but we didn't really have a good way to color them and do it quickly yeah. i offered to let her dip hers in a little chartreuse dye here towards the end but yeah but you said they'd be cheating and it would go so <laughs> nope so they're out of one by default but patience all right all right well i guess we're just going to do some some fishing for fun then and we'll uh see y'all next time so if you all you got chicken feathers and dog hair you well, can, you need a hook. and a hook <laughs> you probably use an old earring or something <laughs> you can you can at least catch some uh keeper crappie Especially if you know how to spin the dog hair into yours. I don't think that matters. <laughs> Alright, we'll see y'all later. Bye.